The tradition of hunting in U.S. history has proven to be life-sustaining and profitable, often with disastrous results for wildlife populations. Overhunting was a real concern, and it was the sportsmen and women who began to speak up about the need to put time, money, and science into protecting wildlife and conserving land and wetlands. The hunting tradition still exists, but the number of hunters are in decline as people migrate to the ever-expanding urban and suburban areas and lose touch with the wild. Ironically, fewer hunters negatively impacts conservation efforts. The sale of hunting licenses and stamps and taxes on arms and ammunition all help fund wildlife and land preservation, but fewer hunters means reduced funding. To help initiate more young people to the sport of hunting, Chris Williams, a professor of wildlife ecology at the University of Delaware, has created a waterfowl education course he calls Duck Camp. Duck Camp is a three-day intensive course that we teach in the wetlands of Maryland's Eastern Shore. We bring in students from all walks of life who want to learn more about hunting and its role in wildlife management and waterfowl conservation. So how do you determine your zone of fire? With volunteer instructors from the nonprofit conservation groups Ducks Unlimited and Delta Waterfowl, students are trained and tested in all aspects of the hunt. Fetch. Okay. Bud! Good girl! That's how you do it, right there. Heel, heel, sit. That's right, you did good. Firearm safety is critically important for our students to learn. Many of them have never held a firearm before. So they need to learn proper technique. You have a good view down that barrel. In both shooting and handling. Cool. Good job. We take them out to the gun range and they spend a good day just practicing shooting. Pull. Yeah! Gosh, you smoked that. <laughs> Pull. Pull. Nice shot. Thank you. Guns loaded, ready to fire. Pull. Nice shot. Nice. Nice. Good shot. Nice. All right, buddy. <laughs> Once the students pass their hunter education course, they proudly receive their state of Maryland hunting license. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> After a full day at the shooting range, it's back to the base at the University of Maryland branch campus in Cambridge. Well fed, the students get last minute tips from their mentors, receive their gear, then hit the bunks for an early morning start. The morning was cold and clear. Great conditions for the hunt. Okay. But we'll see. After splitting into teams the night before, Mia and Lachey joined Sam, Buster the Dog, and myself in the blind. Our decoys were out and we were ready. Our hopes were high, and so we called and we waited. <coughs> Shay and Mia were able to get off multiple shots that morning, but ultimately, they had no success. Both, however, had great attitudes and found to be an amazing experience. Across the marsh, Pauline and Hannah had more luck. We took some shots, did not hit anything yeah, for a we, while. We did. The next bird that I got was actually the shoveler. We got a lot of mallards, so it was really cool to get a shoveler as like my first bird that I got to hold, mm -hmm. so that I shot down. Well, the first time I, I went to shoot, I actually like, got a little nervous and couldn't take my finger off the safety. So I kind of had a moment of like needing to just calm myself down before I felt comfortable shooting again. And uh, we had a flock come in pretty close and I shot one shot and I actually got two birds. Um, this was one of them, it's the pintail. It was just exciting to finally get a bird after all the anticipation and I definitely felt prepared and by the end of it I felt a lot more comfortable with my gun and with shooting. So. 
Ultimately, Duck Camp is about connecting with nature. When young people can learn about and appreciate nature through the sport of hunting, positive attitudes towards preservation and conservation are likely to follow. Goose breast. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's like super flavorful. The mallard's excellent, as always. Participation um, in waterfowl hunting has declined in recent years, and uh, as such, we really see it as an important goal to continue to introduce new, new people to the sport. I took this class because I've never hunted before, because as a fish and game warden, I will be dealing with hunters and fishermen, and I wanted to understand what it was like to be a hunter. I've never shot a gun, let alone went hunting before, so this was a brand new experience for me. And since I'm a wildlife major, it's very crucial for my career path to know how it is to hunt. We would like to ensure that these future managers of the resource understand that linkage between hunting and conservation. Maybe they don't want to hunt forever, but understand the responsibility that people have that are hunters and how they want to contribute to the conservation of the resource. Students tell us year after year that Duck Camp is one of the most transformative classes they've ever had in their college career. And knowing that we've been able to provide them this experience makes this class a resounding success for their education in wildlife conservation.